Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Got another unboxing video for you today. And it's right here. This is, as you might be able to see on the package, this is a boundary microphone from Jamello. And if you recognize that name, I have reviewed a couple of their microphones before on this channel, and they did send this to me for review purposes. So if that matters to you, it has been disclosed, but I've not ever reviewed a boundary microphone. So let's get this box open and check it out and see what it sounds like. Okay, let's go ahead and get this box open. So we see right away we have a manual here. It's got some stuff in it. I'll take a look at that. Oh, it's got some various uh, instructions and such. And this is obviously our microphone. That's probably it. Yeah, get the box out of the way. Okay, here we go. So this appears to be a power button here, but I don't I don't feel anything that's raised or anything. It's just like, it must just be kind of touch sensitive. And we've got a USB cable. So this is not a standard audio microphone. This is a USB microphone, which means it's going to get both its power um, and its signal IO through USB. So you're gonna need a computer or something like that to use it. You can't just use it by itself. Um, but what we see here, it's fairly flat. It's got some rubber on the bottom. It also has some mounts here where you could put it on a wall or something. And the idea of a boundary microphone is it should pick up the audio equally from basically every side. So you put this in the middle of the table and if people are sitting around the table, everybody at the table will get picked up equally or approximately equally. Now this is designed for like a Zoom call or Skype or something like that. You can just plug this in, put it in the middle of a group. You know, if you got four or five, six people and they can all talk and they you know don't have to lean in closer to the microphone or anything, it's just designed to pick them up. But that said, it may work well from a musical context as well Let's find out. Okay, folks, so I realize this is kind of an odd camera angle here, but I've plugged this into my computer and you can see the light is on. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this down in front of me. Now, what you're hearing right now is not this microphone. What you're hearing right now is the camera's internal microphone. And then up here, I'm gonna put my um, computer screen so you can see how I can figure this. So now on my computer screen, if I go into the settings, and this is gonna vary depending on which program and what OS and all of that. But you can see somewhere in your settings, you're gonna have an output device and an input device. And you can see they're both set to my audio interface right now, my audio box. So I'm gonna click on the input here and you can see this says USB PNP audio device. That is this microphone. So when I select that, okay, we immediately see levels coming through up over here, showing us that that is active. But that's still not what you're hearing because I haven't started recording yet. So let me start recording. All right, and now you are hearing the USB microphone, and then I'll switch it back to the camera's internal microphone so you can hear the difference, and then back to the USB microphone, my voice should sound fairly different now, and then back to the camera's internal microphone. Now, in addition, I can use this in sort of a musical context, or I wanna to try to use it in a musical context. So let me grab a guitar. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play something and I'm just going to make this up. It's not going to be anything, you know, rehearsed, but um, I'll switch back and forth between this and between the camera's internal microphone so you can sort of hear the difference here. Just making up a song to sing. I'm just a making up a silly song. Just making up a song to sing It's just a silly little song So hopefully you could notice a difference between the two. There's certainly a different sound with this microphone. Now another thing I want to do is check the sensitivity because it is a boundary microphone. So right now I'm maybe about a foot and a half from the microphone. And this is, you know, how it sounds. Now I'm going to back up. I'm probably about three feet away now. And so this is kind of the difference of how it handles the distance. And then if I back up a little more now, I'm probably maybe about six feet away. And this is how it sounds. And then I'll just walk closer again and keep talking as I walk closer all the way up until I am very, very close to the microphone, maybe less than a foot at this point. So there you go, folks. That is the USB boundary microphone 
from Jamella, a little bit about how it works and kind of how it sounds. So again, this is really designed more for like voices sitting around a conference table or something like that. But with all microphones, there's always other uses. I mean, a microphone is a microphone. Sometimes they have very unique sounds. Sometimes they just work well in a certain situation. So there you go. That's a little bit about that. If you're interested in something like this, you can get this from Jamello's Amazon store. I will link that in the description below. It's about $23 at the time that I'm making this. So pretty affordable little device. Also, if you're into microphones in general, be sure to check out my microphones playlist. I will link that in the description below. I've looked at several different microphones on this channel, all kinds of different types. Some of them I've made myself, some of them that have been sent to me and others that I've just found various places. So check that out if you're into microphones. Appreciate you tuning in today. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. I found out fairly recently that that really does affect the YouTube algorithm is that like button. So if you like it, or even if you just like what I do, I, I really would appreciate that. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. I will see you guys soon.